Hello friends, welcome to Big Data Testing. In this tutorial, we are going to cover why we need Hadoop in Big Data Testing. Every day, a large amount of unstructured data is getting dumped into our machines. It means, on a daily basis, we are generating lot of unstructured data from the different sources like different websites like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. So these kind of data we are generating in a huge volume and very rapidly in our daily routine work. The major challenge is not to store large data sets in our system but to retrieve and analyze the big data in the organization that two data present in different machine at different location. So the scenario over here is we can store the huge amount of data on our server but the issue in this scenario is how we can analyze these data if we are generating the correct data into database or not. So the major challenge is to verify and analyze the data which we are generating in our daily routine task. In this situation, a necessity for Hadoop arises. In this situation, we often analyze how we can solve these issues to analyze data which is generating in a very huge amount and very rapid volume. So Hadoop changes the scenario and resolve these issues in a correct manner. So for this situation we need Hadoop to resolve our issues which is a capable tool for big data to analyze the data in a huge volume. Also, Hadoop has the ability to analyze the data present in different machines at different location very quickly and in a very cost effective way. Hadoop says it can analyze the data not only from your organization within the company but from the different location from the different company servers and it is very low cost. Most of the big data tools are open source. They are a license free tool. So big data and Hadoop comes into the consideration to resolve these issue to analyze the data not only from your server, not only from your company but from your different company vendors, different customers on a different geographical area. It is also uses the concept of map reduce which enables it to divide the query into small parts and process them in parallel. Hadoop has also the concept for the map reduce. We will see what is map reduce and how it comes into big data and what is the functionality of map reduce in our upcoming sessions but in this session, we can say like MapReduce is the process where you can parallelly analyze your huge amount of data on different servers. So it is very quick to analyze the data and it is an open source tool. So MapReduce uses the concept to analyze the data from the different servers in a quick succession. It is the concept of Hadoop. Thanks for watching this video.